Welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew. And I'm Vinny. And today we are taking a look at a new figure from Storm Collectibles. Oh my god, Vinny, I didn't think this day would ever come. But we finally got a Minamu Suzuki figure. Who knew in 2023 we would get a freaking Minoru Suzuki figure? Oh god, it, it is freaking amazing. Yeah, like for real, this came out of nowhere. Like, like we, we had seen this, I think, in the summer when, when it was first teased. Like a year ago, I want to say. At, at least a year, yeah. And, you know, Storm is really weird with their releases. They take their time, but once they come out, oh my god. They come it out like, like Storm, literally. All pun intended. Yeah. Upon first glance, it's like, oh my god. It blows everything out the water. Yeah, like this is so unexpected and it's so amazing we finally have a Suzuki. Because like we were even talking, you know, you guys who are regular viewers in this channel, you know I've looked at a bunch of Japanese wrestling figures in the past here and I actually reviewed a few Suzukis, but there aren't that many Suzuki toys out there. For the most part, for a lot of uh, Japanese wrestlers, not too much. Yeah, exactly. Especially articulated. Because what I have reviewed on this channel are the Kara Pro figures. And those are basically, really essentially no articulation whatsoever. They're kind of just in one pose. You can move the arm up and down, but that's usually it and the waist. It, they're they're not really toys. They're just stacks They're figures. essentially the old galoobs. There's not much. This is like the first and probably going to be the only articulated Suzuki we ever get. With Suzuki, you're right, but look at what they do with Liker. Yeah, well, I guess we'll get to that a little bit, but so. yeah, let's just jump into things here, and uh, yeah, we're going to just gloss over the packaging real quick, because it's what you've seen before. Basically, it's a open window, which has Suzuki in the middle, with, I believe, five extra set of hands, a new head scope to go with it, so you got two head scopes, and behind it, you have the little towel that goes on top of his head in a nice little Ziploc bag. Yeah, and the box itself, it's really nothing to even talk about because it's just basically no. a black box, some photos in the back and the front of the toy. That's it. Yeah, exactly. It's your basic packaging. Because again, I don't think uh, the Japanese culture is like us where the box is also another main component of the figure. Yeah, usually not as big of a deal. It's just there to hold the figure. Sometimes you can see into it, sometimes you can't. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah. We're yeah. not caring about the packaging. We're caring about the figure. Yeah, and we got our, our Suzuki already out of the package here. Uh, should we do the grand unveiling with the towel? Be my guest. I feel like we need to do this the right way. Uh, something, 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 something. Kaze Minare! Wow, that's our Suzuki. Yeah. Granted, he's had, in the past, crazier hair designs. Mm. Yes, he has. But we don't need that right now. We just have Suzuki in playable form. Yeah, and I gotta tell you too, like the thing with the Storm figure, I think there's some point of contention about it in several areas that we'll talk about. The first thing I wanna talk about is that likeness though. Cause a lot of people are saying how when they first saw proto photos, it doesn't look like Suzuki. This looks like Suzuki. No, it does. Yeah. It, it, it's a one-to-one -one for him. It's a very good Suzuki head, so, yeah. Even the alternate head sculpt, actually, I like this a lot better. Yeah, I, I found that generally with alternate head sculpts, if it's like someone yelling and their face all crinkled up, those tend to look better because their face is less smooth, so therefore it's a little bit easier to sculpt and get the reference Fair. points down. So yeah, I always find yelling heads are way better than non-yelling heads. But this is like not even a yelling head. This is like a sinister, he's going to kill somebody move. Yeah, head. it's the perfect Which, head. If anybody knows Minimal Suzuki, he could basically kill anybody. At any given moment. Exactly. He might come out now and kick the shit out of all this, of us. This toy might come to life and choke us all out. And I'll gladly accept my, my life being complete that way. Oh, listen, I'm not going to kink shame, but anyway. <laughs> but yeah, the, the likeness is great. Uh, the paint job also is really great. Yeah. Uh, you know, one thing I like especially is the back of the head, which you can see. You know, there's not really a ton of paint detail on him for his hair, but, like, there is some there with what the, he has. And... Honestly, this looks like it's a hand-painted, like, style. It's like, you could tell work went into this figure. So that's the thing here, and I guess we'll kind of start getting into it, is, like, the price point was also something that scared a lot of people away. And like you just said here, there's a reason for it, and that's because I'm, I'm pretty positive a good amount of Storm stuff actually is hand-painted. Yeah, so, which now gives reason why it takes a while for these figures to come out sometimes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially so, these. Like, we had other Storm collectibles in the past, through whether it be the Liger, another wrestling uh, reference, or we've had the Street Fighter figures, like this beefy boy, Sagat. Yeah, who's shaking the entire ring. That's how big, he's not even in frame. That's how big the Sagat is, by the way. Look at the size of him. Well, we've also seen Mortal Kombat figures. Who? Ah, they do what? Golden Axe. They do King of Fighters. They do Tekken. They've done Gears of War. Yeah, uh, 
it's very different stuff to what you normally get from like let's say you know a Mattel or you know or Jazzwares when it comes to wrestling toys. It's just toys in general. It's a very yeah. different style of figure and a higher quality. Of now already I'm looking at some of the other wrestling figures we have. This on a, on the side to us already blows it right out the water. I mean, honestly, it's apples to oranges, and I hate to say it, but it really is, because, yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess we're going to start doing comparisons. What the heck? Why not? Why not? not? Yeah. Let's just go over it. So. Yeah, let's, you can grab a uh, Mattel guy if you have any over there. Mm -hmm, if you, mm -hmm, have, you got a bread over there, right? Got so hard over here. You know, let's just talk about some of the reasons why, and this is one of the things that irks me about figure collectors, too, is like a lot of them don't really understand toys outside of what they collect, and I'm pretty eclectic. Fair. You're more, like... A collector than I am when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, I like got you collect range. different medias. The plastic quality is the first thing I'll point out to anybody when they look at a Storm figure versus a Mattel or a Jazzwares, and like the plastic, especially on Jazzwares, it is cheap. It, yeah, it's brittle. It's not that great. Like, uh, I feel like, especially more recent Jazzwares, where like the old, like the original line that came out, like those figures looked sturdier. Mm. Like the newer ones, like this Daniel Bryan that you, or Brian Danielson that you have, it's like. Looks like one false move, it's gonna break apart. Yeah, it's and even moving around, it's like not great. Yeah, yeah. they're very hit or miss. Joints can be loose or floppy all the time. Like you never know what you're gonna get. And likewise no. with the Mattels, they tend to be better quality. Better quality, especially the more recent Mattels. Definitely, yeah. Have gotten a lot better in terms of quality. And better paint jobs too. Better paint jobs, actually better facial skins too. Hmm. Like that Brian Danielson. <sighs> It's hit or miss. Yeah, that's why I didn't review them on this channel, because it's very much hit or miss with most of the Jazzware stuff, too. So. But, you know, as far as, like, just the plastic and the painting, too, we'll talk about. Well, here, I'll let you hold them, because yeah, you, you haven't had a chance to really touch them. But like, you can feel the you difference. Can, it yeah, feels like flesh. Exactly, because even look at the ch even the chest plate, it, it's, you, it's got compression to it, so it's like, the trunks, it's like, again, it's this rubber, like, it's... It's a pliable rubber material, mm -hmm. and the entire body, not the entire body, but a good portion a good portion of the body is that material. So you're getting that kind of like more real feel. With exactly, toys. like you could actually make a nice chop sound off yeah. the, uh, the chest of Suzuki. And even just the arms and everything else, like it's more pliable, as you can see here, like moving them around. Right out of the box, we haven't moved him yet. There's no stiff out the box here with this no. guy at all. It's, it's already able to be malleable and moved around, whereas like with these figures, I mean, I'm still having trouble with certain joints. Um, like I said, the, the torso yeah. still is not really moving this guy. I'm afraid to crack it. Well, the shoulder here on this Bret Hart, it's like, I don't want to pull on it. It's, again, it's very, like with the other current wrestling figures, it's like very. It's very stiff. Stiff. Mm -hmm. It's for, or it's like, you got to be careful if you want to put it into a specific pose. But with these storm figures right out of the box, it's, I mean, I'm there's nothing stiff out of the box here. He is ready to do a bow pose right out of yoga class, <laughs> immediately out of the packaging. You couldn't do that with these other figures. Yeah. I mean, look at how flexible this is. He he actually is yeah, doing actually, the bow pose in yoga. That's right out of the box. Now here's another thing which we discovered earlier. Yes. <laughs> then when we thought we had a oh my god we might have broke something. Actually, no, these figures can be, are very easily, can be manipulated. Sorry. Let's, eh, let's get these out for a second. Like, if you feel like you may have popped out a joint, it's easier to actually pop them back in. Yeah, I mean, you can do that with some of the Jazzwares joints, but yeah, like these toys we found out earlier, I mean, and we even did this in the Liger video, we found it out by accident. We, we just... found it out by accident, which it's like, okay, it's like, all right, these joints are able to be which may give reason to why it's a little bit better articulation. So it's better plastic, it's more flexible, it's higher quality, and you're paying for that. That is the thing you're paying for. This isn't gonna it, be a super mass produced thing. It is also, you know, if you look at the box again, you'll see it says age 15 plus on it. So it is yeah, right so away an adult collectible. Exactly, this is not meant for kids. This is not a kid's toy. If, at this point, you want a kid's toy, just give them a WWE basic figure. Exactly, yeah, like, this is high quality, this stuff is amazing, mm -hmm. uh, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So, yeah, let's we'll get back into this here. Likeness is amazing. But, Outfit, too, I mean, that's spot on for Suzuki, isn't it? Yeah, that's right now current Suzuki. Who knows, maybe we may get more Suzukis down the line. Yeah, that is the thing with them, is, you know, like, as we saw with the Ligers in the past, uh, they will reuse as much as they can. They'll keep making more of the same guy. With Suzuki, there's not a lot of looks, but we can at least get like maybe a Pancrase version with That's kick pads. what I was about to say. Pancrase version with uh, proper kick pads and boots. That could be a possibility. 
we've already actually got the white outfit as a chase we opted not to get the chase version but it's out there if you want if you do want like a more menacing suzuki for lack of a better term because i feel like him in white it's like you're supposed to be evil why are you wearing white <laughs> Suzuki, he can do whatever he wants. Exactly. So. He can wear a, a Big Show's New Year's baby outfit and still look menacing. <sighs> you had to put that image in my head, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> you know what? Let's swap out some of his hands. Again, actually, a lot easier to swap out hands as opposed to some of the, the Mattels or the uh, Jazzwares. And Suzuki comes with 12 hands total. <laughs> wow, that is that is an evil that Suzuki. Is evil Suzuki right there. Wow, this is kind of amazing. Yep. And yeah, I want to point out to the articulation here. You guys can see it's uh, the one thing about Storm is that you can very much see the joints. They're very much exposed joints. If that's the thing that bothers you, you're buying the wrong toys automatically. Fair, exactly. They it's... do not hide the joints on these Storm toys no. at all. So they're very apparent, but you do get great range of flexibility as you already great. saw. Yeah, and the only way, well. Even with modern day wrestling figures too, the, they do have exposed joints as well. What doesn't, what hides them is if they wear elbow pads or knee pads. And just for point of reference too, just for more comparison here, we have an AEW Supreme Series 2 Malachi Black over here. And you know, we have the Ultimate Edition John Cena on the right of Suzuki. So as far as articulation goes, they're pretty much identical, I would say. This is the older Ultimate of uh, John Cena. Yes, that's the first one. Of which, him. yeah, which it is missing the uh, the shoulder butterfly uh, joints. M modern elites have that joint now. Yeah, so they're catching up. They're, they've caught up. The only thing that's missing is the thigh cut. Yes, that's the only thing, but I feel like what the way the articulation is of Suzuki doesn't need it. Yeah, and a lot of folks argue about the thigh cut too. Like, I like the thigh cut personally because it's good for articulation, but a lot of folks say you don't need it. And like, case in point, we have uh, the Super 7 Okada. Let's bring him in too. Super 7 were supposed to be the gateway line for New Japan here in the States, but... Not so much. Not so much. They did not... Yeah, Super 7 dropped the ball pretty hard on that, and there was supposed to be a third series. That didn't happen, you guys. I still no, get comments it's... every now and then. It's not happening. Yeah, because at this point, we would have heard something. It's a few years out, so yeah, we're not getting the Wave 3, but... No, unfortunately, but... Like, honestly, of that Super 7 series, I think Okada was one of the only good figures we had. Yeah, they were definitely like, hit or miss. Like, Naito yeah. was good in Series 2, the rest of that was eh. But anyway, here you guys can see how he looks compared to them. So now, yeah, in terms of scale also... Basically, everybody's in scale. Yeah. The one thing that is different also about Storm figures is that they're kind of chunky boys, aren't they? They are compared to some of the dinner figures, but to be fair, Suzuki is kind of a chunky person. Well, I mean, uh, I will say in general, Storm figures, they tend to be pretty thick. Yeah, but uh, to be fair, Sagat is a massive <laughs> fighter. He's actually the tallest fighter in Street Fighter. God, I love this figure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who would in a fight? Sagat or Suzuki? I think me, because I could beat the shit out of somebody with this thing in my hand right now. God, the LJNs are back <laughs> with the blunt weapons. Give me your wallet. <laughs> so again, as far as accessories go, we mentioned he has 12 hands total, and he has the second head, along with the towel. Yeah. So we'll keep in mind the price point here. This guy was, I think, 55 or 60 plus whatever shipping Something. handling tax. But for us, they have a very state to state. Uh, so you are basically paying... Not I mean, really. It's not that much more anymore than like a supreme figure or an ultimate figure. To be honest, fair. I think. How much? Do you remember how much the supreme figure was? So in stores, I think he a supreme is now like forty or, or it's definitely over thirty five. They've gotten expensive. Like yeah. I know on ringside, it's at least forty for a supreme. Because I know uh, ultimates, so ultimates, ultimates are about are like thirty three now. If you find them in like actual brick and mortar, like a Target, if they're online from ringside, they're usually more money. Yeah. So. Again, you got to put in the shipping and all that. If I had to say with the Ultimates, because I collect more of the Ultimates with the WWE line, um, you do get, like, more... Well, comparatively speaking now, I think about it, because considering that Suzuki is getting six different sets of hands, mm. he only needs the towel yep. as an accessory, and he's got two swappable heads, which most Ultimates have only two swappable heads. You're kind of getting the same... 
So what a price point, again, like you said before, your price point is a little higher because you're getting higher quality. Because mm. to be fair, the same plastic is being used f from an elite to a basic yep. from Mattel. So, and the same thing goes with Jazzwares. You, you have more familiarity with uh, the Jazzwares as opposed to me, but I, am I wrong in saying what I just said? Same plastic, yep. Same exact plastic. And the plastic quality is so much better yeah. with these Storm figures. And just in general, because they are a higher end collectible. So yeah. you do get what you pay for. Exactly. And who knows, maybe if we do get more Suzukis, then this one might possibly drop in price because look at the re-releases of Liger. Towards the end, and, and those were only able to be bought on uh, ringside, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yeah, and then same with the Suzuki. He's also going to be only on ringside on for the ringside, most part. So the re-releases of Liger, I remember this last holiday sale, one of them dropped down to as low as like eight bucks. Yeah, well, the Ligers, I mean, they definitely, uh, they weren't overproduced. They just overestimated the market. Yeah. So I think with Suzuki, they're probably going to make less of them. There's not going to be nearly as many variants as Liger. No, um, because and I would say they Liger, they could the make still. even more variants if they feel like it, but I don't think they will. Yeah, hopefully they don't, but because uh, I, I can't handle any more of them. Well, but. well, for me, I missed out on it, so uh, I'll take another variant if it, they sell it for a good price. But as far as what we got here, I mean, I'd say, you know, yeah, get them. I'd say get them because really the, the one thing I, I do want to point out here is if you get this figure, it is a step up in your collecting. It's not going to be the same as your Mattels or your Jazzwares or even the, I mean, really, it's closer to the, to the Super 7. And I think that yeah. this is, you know, Super 7 have way more accessories, but I still much prefer the Storm figures, honestly, because they just feel better to hold. They are more stable if you're doing figure photography, especially. That's a big Fair. important thing, too. They're very stable figures. Like, um, I remember you did it with the Sagat that you were able to give them a nice high kick. Yeah, They're and, heavier uh, figures, so there's more mass to them. They have more mass and better weight distribution. So, but I feel like also these stone collectibles, like you could take a common wrestling figure accessory and it could go, it could be used with them. Speaking of, I happen to have a chair, and this is a Jazzwares chair, which I hate. They're actually pretty awful. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, for scale, point of reference, I mean, boom, there it is. That's the yeah. same size. Everything fits in here. So, or... Uh, you could even, depending on what hands you use, grab onto it. No, no. Uh, yeah, just, good luck holding on. To, yeah, that's why that chair sucks. They break right away. Uh, Jazz wears. Looks like uh, also, once again, reason why the price point might be the way it is, they gave Suzuki completely new sculpted hands. Yeah, we were wondering if they were going to be the same hands, but no, they're actually very different hands. Yeah, so... They might, some might be similar in shape, like they both have knife hand chops, but they were clearly different. Yeah, you could probably switch the hands, but... I think you could, yeah. Same pegs. Same pegs, but at the same time, you don't want to confuse them. Yeah. Like, but we're going to uh, switch right now just to be... Well, there you go. Boom, and it's the same skin tone, so problem solved. Okay, if it you, works. If you got Liger, then problem solved. They're interchangeable hands. Okay, so that solves one problem for, for us, but still. So... Uh-oh, something uh, came out. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What is it? His tongue. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Is that removable? I... Wait, is that removable? Is it? It's removable. That's no! An open slot. That's an oh, my God. I didn't... That's oh an open... my god. I legit thought you just broke my Suzuki and I, I really had to kill you. I was worried. I mean, I, I, it could be for all I know, but like, uh, it's hard to say. But truth be told, it still fit in there just firmly, even if it wasn't meant to come out. You could easily take it in and out. So that to me looks like you can. I, I don't know for sure. If anybody out there is watching and has your, has your Suzuki as well, uh, let me know if that's But here's the funny part yours, is, but... even without the tongue, now that head scope even looks better. It still works, yeah. I, so I don't know if it's actually... That's like... Out. But the fact is, I was able to get it back in there and it stayed in there, thanks to Storm's engineering. So whether it's meant to be or not, I don't know, but it actually worked. Jesus Christ. Have, have a tongue with your Suzuki. Thank you. Don't lose that. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> there's nothing that indicates that it would have broke off. There's no glue, there's no piece that broke that, off. That, that, yeah, it's something like even inside of his mouth, it looks like it was shaped to take it in and put it back in. Wow. Storm. Are you rhythmically clapping? Uh, it just. Cause it's no, 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 no. Okay, well, oh, anyway, yeah. so we did that over. one. Yeah. Moments over, still, yeah. geez. Listen, I know this review is a little longer than we expected, but do you blame us after seeing all this? Yeah, this, yeah no, this is amazing. I mean, this... yeah, it was expensive, and I will admit, I think the price will drop. 
The price will eventually drop, but you know what? I don't mind that I spent all the money for it. I'd this rather support it at a full price because that means Storm's are hopefully going to make not only more Suzuki's, more, more wrestlers. And the, now the one wrestler we're praying for, Muta. Has to be Muta. Muta. Muta has to be next. Yeah, there's just way too much they could do with him. Muta is such it's... an easy choice. Like, I'm shocked they did Suzuki still, to be honest. I'm excited and I'm happy we got a Suzuki like this. Fair, yeah. Because he but deserves considering it. considering that where can you go with Suzuki, there's not really many places you could go with him. Not really, no. Muta, there's a massive uh, amount of uh, things that they could do with him, especially now that he just had his farewell tour. Actually, we're in the process of his farewell tour right now. Yeah, and I wouldn't, and be, I wouldn't be surprised, too, if those Mutas were a lot more money because he's going to have all unique entrance gear for each of those. But, I mean, yeah, no, there's so much they can do. So Storm Collectibles, hear our plea. KG we, Muto, great Muta. Anything with Muta, please. I, I, Oh, we might get even a WCW Muda. Whoa. <laughs> God, imagine if we got that. Whew. Yeah, this is just mind-blowing, amazing. If they're still on ring ringside, try to grab them. Yeah, I mean, you can wait if you want to get them on sale, because I think he will drop a little bit. I don't see him going to the levels of Liger, though. No. And to be fair, the reason why that Liger went down so much, because that was like a, an attire that we did not want. Yeah, there were several. Like, I mean, the original one that we have here, which is the first one that came out, that one is still worth a lot of money. Some of the one of 3000s are worth some money. Like the, the uh, There's an exclusive in Japan that was blue. That one's still worth a lot because yeah. it's very limited. It's like 300 Which I think that was the only other one that went out quick. Yeah, but like which, there was a purple and a green, and those are not And they had the I mean, debut are, version of Liger, too, which that was the one that was the cheapest, which that was shocking. Yeah. But I don't think not too many people know it. Wasn't there an all-black version? There was an all-black, which that, was also one of the rare... That one actually yeah. held on for price. But overall, I mean, they made a lot of costumes that weren't that interesting. They kind exactly. of overdid it they, with them. They overdid it. And as you said, they did not... They overestimated the market. Unfortunately, yeah. They, and they kind of abused the collector in some yeah. ways, too, making like seven variants of that one guy. So, but then again, it's Liger. So if they can, why not? But, but if this is going to open up now the door to other New Japan wrestlers, please... Hell, if they start doing a current New Japan, like, if they give us an Okada, I'd gladly get that one. A Tanahashi, I'd gladly that, get that one. I, I would definitely, because I'd rather have this than what Super 7 did. 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, overall, I mean, worth the price, better quality. Uh, as I already said to you, like, if you start getting these strong figures, you know, the good news is you're not going to have to get them that often, because they are pretty few and far between. Fair, but, yes. I mean, yeah, but... it's, they're, some, they're light years better. They honestly are. It's going to change how you look at collecting toys, and I think that's kind of a thing... A lot of us wrestling collectors need to do is kind of get out of our little boxes because we're used to paying a certain amount of money for a certain type of product. So now it's like, you know what? Be willing to spend a little bit more, but you're getting higher quality in return. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, that's the thing. Look at some of these ultimates that we've got. It's like, do I really need to get that one? Like, and what are we spending money for? They reused parts. Or the same thing, look at some of the jazz wares where it's like, we don't need to get an owner because there's reusing parts and there's no incentive. With this Suzuki, every penny well worth it. Absolutely. So if you want to go ahead and get him, he's on Ringside Collectibles. Get him while you can. But with that said, this is Vinny. This is Matthew. And this has been Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Do all the things. Go ahead and knife hand chop Aye. that subscribe button. See you guys next time. More wrestling figure reviews everything else we do here on Nerd News Today. Goodbye. Bye.